Is your HVAC system ready for the new season? Seems early, but fall is in the air. Call Premier Heating and Air for a $69 system checkup to ensure your heater is ready for action. If your system needs service or replacing, Premier will provide you with the best options for your situation. Premier Heating and Air offers several services to ensure your home's comfort. Let one of our technicians come out and clean and seal your air duct system. Add attic insulation, clean your dryer vent, or install one of our indoor air quality products to keep your home pleasant. Call today to experience the premier difference. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome out. We're here at the game of the week. I'm Bryson Tapley here with Mr. Crather Nelson. Mr. Crather, how are we doing tonight? Very good, very good. The captain's right at midfield for the coin toss. Dublin has got their entire group of seniors. I believe I counted 13 as honorary captains with both O'Neills, Micah and Malachi, Drew Roser and Nazir Johnson out yep. at the middle at midfield. East Lawrence Crosstown rival joining us tonight. East comes in off a 42 to 13 loss against Blakely. Dublin comes in off a big win against Jefferson County last week, 62 to 13. I believe Dublin won the toss and will defer. I always mess this up, so check me, Bryson. <laughs> Let's see. I believe I'm right on that, that Dublin will be kicking off. That's correct. East Lawrence will be receiving. East Lawrence comes into this game fighting for a playoff spot. They're yeah. only two and six on the year. This game is critical for both teams, Bryce. And of course, Dublin looking to not just get a playoff spot, but get a get at least one home game right. in the first round. Currently, they're in third place in the division behind Swainsboro and Blackley, who I believe are playing tonight. But they've got to win this game tonight in order for next week to be for possibly for a region championship at Swainsboro. Absolutely. So because very important for both tonight. sides tonight. And I say that I'm assuming that Swainsboro will win tonight at Blackley. If they lose, It'd be a one-game showdown, them in Dublin next week for the second slot, number two seed in the region, and a, again, at least one home playoff game. Same story for both these teams. Yeah. Both of them have, have lost to Blakely this year. Uh, and, of course, for East Lawrence, talked about the record not being that good, but they're in position to be a playoff team. Right. And you'd rather be a three seed than a four seed. So it's a big game for them as well, not to mention, of course, the fact that it's a – County rivalry. These players all know each other, all friends, so it's a little closer to home here, obviously, tonight. Beautiful night for football. Couldn't be more clear. Fairly warm. Daniel, the man to kick. He got Dublin's touchdown club player of the game last week, seven for seven on extra points, and he got his first field goal of the year in that big win against Jefferson County. He's had a couple games this year where I'm sure he had to ice his leg probably late oh, yeah. Friday night into Saturday, last week being one of those. Back deep for Reese Lawrence trying to see the numbers. Yeah, I believe Kyan got, and Sneed uh, and Jamichael Carswell back yeah, there. Yeah, I see Carswell, number 14. Carswell, the second leading receiver on that team, comes in with 352 yards and four touchdowns on the year. Their numbers are black and they can be hard to see against the night sky. Kick comes down just inside the 20. Carswell brings it straight ahead up to near the 23 yard line. So East Lawrence will set up from there. East Lawrence has pretty close splits. They have uh, 1,255 yards through the air this year, as well as 1,019 yards on the ground. So they mix it up pretty well. Got two quarterbacks. They come out with a single half back to the right of the quarterback and trips right. I believe that's going to be Sneed back there at quarterback to start yep. the game. Throws nope. it to his running back on a swing pass. Gets pass, gets a good block on the corner and gets about eight yards. So like you said there, pass out to Zay Boston. That's the quarterback who has more yards on the year. 
Uh, he's been the main guy for East, but like you said, they're playing running back, takes the pass out of the backfield, and he'll gain about eight. Now this time they'll have trips left, looks like. Look at that, Pascal Sneed in the slot. Hand off quarterback keeper, he pulls it, he run, gets into the open field up near the 40. Well, that'll be a first down for East Lawrence. They, they made good yardage on each of their first two offensive plays. They got the ball all the way out, just touching their 39 yard line. Going with a little tempo here again, trips left this time. Quarterback rides, oh, great play. Dublin had two defenders. I believe that was. Uh, was that Xavier Bostic yeah, there Bostic on the tackle? Made the play in the sense that he blew it up and then one of his teammates cleaned it up with the tackle. I couldn't see who, who it was that made the tackle. Bostic coming in yeah. off a big game. He had two picks last week. Yeah. They lose about three yards. Let's call it second and 13 for East Lawrence. This time they'll have twins right and left. In with Sneed in the slot to the left. Empty backfield. Quarterback looking to run it now. RPO tipped and intercepted. Tremendous play. That's intercepted by O'Neill. Malachi O'Neill off the tip. And Bryson, I don't know that I saw who made the, who tipped that ball. I missed that as well. Yeah, that was Micah job. there. Yeah, great reaction by him on the tip drill. So Dublin now will have excellent field position at, at the East Lawrence 45. Micah, first offensive series of the night. Micah gets the pick and now he'll lead the team out. Empty backfield this time. One man in motion, handed off on the jet sweep around the left side. He's got in the corner. He'll have 10, about at least 13, 14 yards on that carry. Malachi O'Neill there on the carry. Yeah. They got, they got a great block out on the edge. To get him around the corner. He got 14 yards on that carry. First and 10, Dublin from the East Lawrence, 31. Iris trying to cash in the early turnover. Malachi in motion again. Inside handoff this time to Bostic. Oh, great running. He. He spun out of one attempt to tackle. They'll get all the way down inside the 25, maybe the 24. Another we'll game of about seven on that play. That was great running by Boston. Looked like Logan Clements there on the other side finished that tackle. Well, Boston runs the ball hard. Oh, yeah, he does. He had over probably 150 yards on the ground last week, as well as those two picks I mentioned. He's been playing great on both sides of the ball all year. Last yeah. time we were out here in that rain game, he got our player of the game. Yeah, he had a tremendous game that night. Again, handoff, big hole for Bostic, shakes a tackle, and he'll go in standing for the Dublin touchdowns. He's got the replay. That's Dublin Piggly Wiggly, instant replay. Bostic with the 24-yard run for the Dublin touchdown. The Irish draw first blood. Now, Bryson, they've got that funky yep. uh, extra point set up that they frequently run a two-point conversion. At they ran point. this twice last week. Look yeah. for, well, now they, they get transition back out of it. Traditional formation with Daniel to attempt the extra point. I guess they kind of test the defense and see if they react to it. If they don't, they go ahead and run it. Daniel's kick is up strong and good. So with 10 minutes exactly to go in the first quarter, you're scoring for the Shamrock Bowl. Dublin seven, East Lawrence nothing. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. North, South, East, or West, Friendly Gus is on your way today. Fuel up with Friendly Gus's delicious breakfast made fresh every day. Your wallet and your belly will thank you. 
Choose from our 20, 40, and 60 piece chicken finger and wing platters. And don't forget the tater logs. Our food is always fresh and our service is always friendly. Friendly Gus, on your way today. Also, shop Cochran Brothers Cash and Carry at 320 South Jefferson in Dublin for additional items like paper products, chicken wings, bulk drinks, spices, sauces, and more. All right, we're back. Dublin about to kick off. Connor Daniel will kick it off. The Irish cash in an early turnover on the, off the tip drill interception by Malachi O'Neill. Kick angling off to the right, and it, it will hit and go out of bounds, so that will draw a flag. East Lawrence will get the chance to have it at their 35. East Lawrence will come out and try it again on offense. We're moving the ball decently well before that pick. Yeah, they were. Gained about 20 quick yards before they threw that interception. Yeah, They'll a little start. RPO where he threw the interception. Great reaction by one of Dublin's linebackers, I believe it was, to tip that ball. And Malachi O'Neill on the tip drill. Both the East Lawrence quarterbacks, heavy set guys, both can run the ball very well. Now they got a bunch formation to the trips right. Quarterback back to throw. Good protection. That pass oh. is going to be overthrown. Yeah, he had a man. Intended receiver yeah. there, Dankevious Richardson. Yeah, Richardson was open in the middle of the field. Just throw what, what he needed it to be. Falcons will again run that bunch formation to the right. Quarterback back to throw, pulls it down, runs, makes one man miss out across the 40 near the 42. He'll gain about maybe six, maybe seven. Damari Foster, good hard tackle there. Yeah, good tackle. Ball be placed at the 42. Third and three for East Lawrence. This time they'll have, looks like twins right, one man wide left. I believe that's cars were wide left for him. One, one and a half back in the backfield with the quarterback. Handoff, uh, no fake, he pulled it. Malachi O'Neill on the tackle. He'll be tackled for about a two yard loss. Great job by the Dublin defense. They were on the handoff. And then they had the quarterback covered as well when he pulled it. I believe that's Malachi O'Neill on the tackle. Now Connor Tanner will come out to punt. Eli Hartwell back to receive. Like you said, Bout could have took that handoff. Yeah. Hart will be standing just inside his 30, maybe the 28 or so. Tanner standing just outside his 25 yard line. A little bit of a low snap. Good job by him to feel it. Fairly strong kick off to the right. Let's see if he gets a roll. Gets a big roll. Good job by Hartwell to pick it up though and get it out to the 30. That probably saved at least 10 yards by him fielding that ball. So a heads up play by Hartwell. Double have decent field position starting their second drive of the night. Yeah, you figure if he does not feel that ball, it's gonna go at least down to the 20, if not inside the 20. Right, gives us offense a little more room to breathe here. I mentioned earlier, East Lawrence has good split in the both run and pass. Dublin obviously has run the ball yeah, pretty run, much whole game. Heavy. <laughs> Only pass three, four times a game, sometimes not even that. Yeah. Jet sweep, that's Bats, I believe, runs through a tackle. Oh, but I had a good, East Lawrence defensive back did a great job of playing off a block and making the play. That's the quarterback a Sneed. there. Tylen Sneed there. Yeah. Great job by him to play off that block and make the play. He'll actually take that, take Bats down for about a two yard gain, second and eight. Eli Hartwell out there on the island far left. Yeah. 
And they will pass. Yep. Man, running wide open up the middle of the field. Bats with a nice catch into East Lawrence territory. Great throw by O'Neill right there. That was a great pattern. Oh, yeah. Bats just ran straight up the field, and East Lawrence defense was late reacting to that play. When they have thrown the ball this year, they've been fairly effective, and we see it there for yeah. the first time in this game. I believe in that rain game a couple weeks ago, we called they only threw the ball twice. Yeah. Inside and off to Bostic, got a good push, got about five yards Bostic, down near the 42. Well, East Lawrence got a couple of good sized kids on that defensive front. Very athletic team as well. Number 77 for them, Caleb Jackson. Good looking, he's a sophomore. Good looking defensive lineman. Inside hand off to Bostic. Nice blocking, good tough running again. Gets down near the 30. Down to maybe the 31 with a first down for Dublin. Good news for Dublin, Bostic's only a junior, so they'll have him back next year. And he's just gotten better as the season's gone on. He really on. has, yeah. And of course, he's been a stalwart player on defense as well for Dublin all year. I believe he has three picks on the season. I believe he's well up over 600 yards. East Lawrence didn't like their defensive alignment. They take a timeout. We'll take it with them and be right back. School's back in and we all know what that means. Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia, but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. Hello fans, Ben Knight for Farmer State Bank. Friday night football and Farmer State Bank. As easy as FSB. Dedication, hustle, trust, commitment, and teamwork. Giving our all every day, just as our local football teams do every Friday night. Join us at Farmer State Bank and support your local team. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. First and 10, the ball at the East Line, 33 yard line. And off, great cut by, uh, I believe that's uh, Good block there. Yeah. Drew, Drew Rozier uh, with, a, with a good block there on the outside. Damari Foster, I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, he, he made a great cut. He strung it out a little bit to the right and then cut straight up the field. And he'll get about 18 yards out of that. First and 10 doubling at East Lawrence 15 yard line. Hartwell in a tight formation wide right. There's uh, Foster again, he'll go in standing, however, let's watch the penalty. Flag flew behind the play, so let's check this call. Gonna be holding on double. Yeah, it will be. That will take away a 15 yard touchdown run by Damari Foster. That'll take the ball all the way out to the 25. Dublin will be first and 20 from there. So Michael Carswell out there in coverage on Eli. Double Reverse. handoff coming off to his right. O'Neill with a great block. Cam Hampton goes in standing. That's your Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Cam Hampton with the 25-yard run on the double handoff for the Dublin touchdown. Great execution on that play, Bryson. And the guy with the key block out on the edge was none other than Malachi O'Neill. Yep. You know it's good blocking when you go 25 yards untouched to the end zone. Like Irish said. got to a quick 13-0 lead with Daniel to attempt the extra point. We can almost call him automatic at this point. Yeah. Good snap. Kick is up strong and good. 
So with 537 left in the first quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, your score, Dublin 14, East Lawrence nothing. Get yourself a natural gas tank that's water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. It's a luxury. We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, City of Dublin Natural Gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah! Finish the drill with natural gas. Call, call your gas guys. guys. At 478-277-5048. Matt Hatchett, representative for Lawrence County, is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Orange Raiders. Matt Hatchett, representative for Lawrence County. Go team! All right, we're back. Connor Daniel to kick off yet again, and he's getting a workout already. This will be his third kickoff, Bryson, in less than one full quarter of football. Kickoff angles off to the right. Cars will take it just inside the 15. Comes off to his right. Wind blocking. Breaks to the outside. Across the 30. Down the sideline. Out. Across the 40. A great return by Jamichael Carswell for East Lawrence. Puts him in good field position. Looked like he almost was fencing to get bottled up at about the 25. Yeah. Made a nice move out here to the left side. And got about 20 more yards down the field. Yeah. Got it all the way to the 42, so gain of a uh, kickoff return of about 27 yards right there, I believe. Looks like they'll go ahead and change quarterbacks. We got Zay Boston in there now. He's been the better quarterback statistically on the year. He comes in with 902 yards on the season, as well as eight touchdowns. Big kid, but he can run. 290 rushing yards and five touchdowns for him on the ground this year. And off, oh, well played by the right side of Dublin's defense. They'll be taken down about two yards behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be the handoff to Kyan Sneed. I believe that was uh, number 21 for Dublin, Brandon Brandon Chapman, Chapman is it? Yep. Yeah, getting up off the bottom of the pile. So call it second and 12 or long 11 for East Lawrence. Man in motion, another, no fake handoff. Oh, a big stick. <laughs> I believe that was uh, Gilmore on the stick. Big hit there on yeah, Zay Boston. But that was a heck of a collision. Zay Boston able to stay on his feet. That's the perks, yeah. being a heavy set quarterback like he is, he can take some of those hits. Yeah. Let's call it third and 10 though for East Lawrence. We got twins right, Carswell to the left. Expect them to go to the air here. They've got two quarter or two wide receivers rather in the top three in receiving yards in the region. Dank Richardson leads the region in uh, reception yards, and Jermichael Cars was third. Quarterback back to throw, looks to his right, now pulls it down and runs. He got a flag down, probably a hold. Throws the ball late. Ooh, just misses his receiver, but most likely that will be on the probably a holding call on East Lawrence. Yeah which you assume would be declined by Dublin. They'd be in a punting situation. We'll see how it all shakes out. Formed a good pocket there for a second, and I yeah. believe it was Nasir Johnson got loose and yeah. started putting some pressure for Zay to roll out. And good coverage downfield. He really didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. Impressive. He almost made a play he on did. that. And that's going to be a personal foul against uh, Dublin. Wow. So that'll be first down. East Lawrence, they'll get another chance to keep this drive alive. I assume that was either a late hit or maybe a hit to the head of the quarterback, something to that effect. Well, that's a killer. Yeah. 
because they, they had gotten off the field, and now East Long will have first down in inside Dublin's 45. First time tonight they've gotten on Dublin's side of the field. Yeah. That's a kind of marked that one. That could be a big penalty, and depending on how this game goes from here. Hand off, off to his left, with a little bit of running room, he slips. That was Ty and Sneed, sophomore wide receiver, who was in at running back that time. Looked like Zay with that handoff, he held it long enough to yeah. bait uh, Dublin's edge yeah. to, to stay stay there and wait on him. Maybe they'll hand it off, but then he just slipped. Yeah. Wasn't able to make much happen. A little bit of a high snap again to Sneed coming off to his right. Oh, well played right there by a Dublin defender. That's Is Damari that, uh, Foster, Foster out there. Yep. Yeah. Good. Great play by Foster. Good pursuit out there yeah. on the perimeter. Takes him down for a loss. It'll be now third and 11. Looked like he had some room to work yeah. and then it closed in quickly. Uh, East Orange will have one man right, twins left this time. Good recovery from Dublin right back yeah. to third down. Quarterback looks to his right, looking to throw, pulls it down, in trouble. Now he throws late, and is it complete? That's it looks a like heck it of is. Catch. That's Evan Thompson, yeah, the Evan big Thompson. tight end. Yeah, tremendous catch by him down around the 30. Keep the drive alive for East Lawrence. Great job by the quarterback of buying time. Right. Then stepping up in the pocket, finding his receiver. Put it in a tight pocket there, too. Yeah, he, yeah there was a narrow window right there. Now East Lawrence with trips left this time. Running back off to his left, high snap, hands it off. Not a whole lot of blocking there. Great run though by that Sneed, yeah, with the ball. Great run by Sneed to get about. He got about four yards out of it. It's gonna be Cyrus Tobridge there yeah, on the tackle. Wasn't a lot there. Dublin's getting really good penetration. Only way they about have a shot to get anything in that run game so far is making a move like he just did, and he only got about three out of it. Yeah. Gavin, oh, second and seven. Gavin Dice now enters the game at running back. And off up the middle, all oh, nothing doing. Great play right there. Is that Gilmore? As they oh. That is no, that's Gilmore, Chapman. I think. Okay. No, that's Chapman. There it is. Okay. Great play by Chapman. Takes him down for, I think I have a loss there. The one yard make it third and eight for East Lawrence. They're probably in two down territory right here. Yeah, you think so? Looks like they're gonna have twins left this time. Running back off to his right. High snap. Yeah, fake, fake that handoff, tried to keep it straight up the field. Somebody took his legs out from under him. He'll be down right at the 30. It'll be fourth and a, let's call it a long nine from there. And I would expect these lines to go for it. It looks like they will. Got to look out here, here for in a position like this is going to be Dank Richardson. He's quick, got fast feet. He's definitely been the X Factor impact player for East this, this year. Number 11, they got a bunch formation to the right. One man out wide left, low snap. Quarterback throws, ooh, threw it into heavy coverage right there. The Dublin will break it up and the Irish will take over. So a good stand by the Dublin defense. All right, Dublin up first and 10 after the defensive stand and looked like the right guard jumped. Only 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Missed Dublin had a, yeah, had a man jump, but they're trying to point at East Lawrence, and sure enough, they were in the neutral zone, apparently. Before we came back, Dublin had to burn a timeout. Had some confusion with substitutions, and the play clock about ran out on them. Now, a mistake by East Lawrence gives Dublin a cheap five, and it'll be first and five now for them. And off. The bats, great running, breaks into the open field and down all the way to the 30 of East Lawrence. Finally drug down by Gavin yeah. Dice there. What a run. Yeah. That's a 35-yard run by Bats. That'll be a 
Devlin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Actually, 36, gonna give him the 29. Willie Bats with a tremendous run for Dublin. Irish first and 10 now at the 29 with only 18 seconds to go in the first quarter. Hartwell out wide right. Hand off to Bats again. Nice cut, ran off to his right. Good cut, good tough running. Gets him all the way down. Looks like to about the 17. That'll be the final play of the first quarter. So your score after one quarter from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 14, East Lawrence nothing. Now's the time to get a great deal on the number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience. Professional grade mowers, durable sidekick utility vehicles, and versatile compact tractors. It's the equipment you need to take care of your land. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% 0 APR for up to 60 months, plus save up to $800. Your Kubota dealer is Mid-State Tractor and Equipment, 1325 North Jefferson, Dublin. All right, we're back to start the second quarter. Dublin first and 10 from the 18 of East Lawrence. And off around the left side with blocking. Cam Hampton will go in standing in the left corner of the end zone. That's a Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Cam Hampton with the 18-yard run for Dublin's third touchdown of the night. Second rushing touchdown for Cam Hampton. I was about to ask. I, I thought maybe that was a third touchdown with three different guys. But Cam Hampton got that last one too, didn't he? Yeah. So that makes two on the night for him. Daniel off for the extra point. Good snap, the kick is up and good. So your new score for Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 21, East Lawrence nothing. Trying to beat the heat? Come check out our cool deals at Roach Farm and Garden. For your gardening around the house, Roach Farm and Garden has planters, soils, plants, vegetable and grass seed. Don't forget, it's time to fertilize your yard and pond. Let Roach Farm and Garden help. Got something to feed? ADM, Godfrey, FRM and Cargill. Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply of pet and livestock feed. Getting bugged in your own backyard? Flies, fleas, mosquitoes? Roach Farm and Garden has one gallon to 110 gallon sprayers. Too hot and you want to cool off? Roach Farm and Garden has barrel and pedestal fans, not to mention stock tanks up to 1,000 gallons. While you're shopping, check out our wind chimes, benches, gliders and chairs. We even got fryers, grills and griddles and always carry a full line of Carhartt and Wrangler wear. Before you check out, grab some of our seasonings and sauces, local honey, jams, jellies, and pickles. Looking for concrete benches, statues, and fountains? Roach Farm and Garden has a huge supply and more arriving every day. Roach Manufacturing, opened in 1929 as a cotton gin, a third generation family business, started by William Patrick Roach and Miss Louise Beecham Roach, which now has become Roach Farm and Garden. Since 1929, from Roach Manufacturing to Roach Farm and Garden. Third generation family business here in Dublin and Wrightsville. Come see us. All right, Connor Daniel about to kick off again and his leg is getting another big workout, Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> Irish offense is really clicking so far in this game. Kick angling off to the right, and they'll let it go out of, oh, he, it didn't go out of bounds. Carswell picks it up off the bounce, comes off to his left, and a great tackle by Cam Hampton, our touchdown maker. Good kick there by Connor. Yeah, great job. Carswell wisely, I thought, was gonna let that ball go out of bounds, and unfortunately for him, it, Took a, back in. Yeah, took a bounce to the inside and stayed on, on the field of play, and he had no choice but to field it and try to get upfield. He's tackled inside his own 15-yard line. Well, he saw he's in a hole at their own 14-yard line to start this drive. Trips right this time. Big quarterback, as I call him, back in there. Handoff 21. Gavin he gets there. maybe a yard. Gilmore, I saw Bostick's there. Gilmore was there. Great play by the right side of Dublin's defensive front.
Dublin had very good penetration through that first yeah. quarter. Starting off right here again. East Lawrence will have twins right, one man left this time, out left. Um, the halfback goes in motion, looking for a little screen play. The throw, I believe that was to Sneed. That play right oh, Richardson, there. Richardson, I'm sorry, Richardson. That play right there is warranted at least probably four touchdowns for East Lawrence this year. That's their go-to. Dublin played it very well there. Yeah. Normally that safety comes up on the pump, but uh, what, who was that? Was that Micah there? Malachi. Malachi, Malachi stayed back and yeah. played that stayed ball well. Stayed at home, played it well. Now, trips right for East Lawrence. A little bit of a low snap, quarterback looking to his right, steps up, under heavy pressure, throws late, oh, should have been picked. Wow. And just talking about Malik out there, he almost yeah. picked that one off, what field yeah, position that, that would have been. That was gift wrapped. Quarterback trying to make a play with defenders bearing down on him, nearly cost him big time. As it is, it'll be fourth and 10, and East Lawrence punter will actually be standing on the goal line. Sometimes you'll see those guys back in coverage kind of come up to the line. They see the quarterback's about to go down. Good job there by Malachi to stay in coverage and almost pick that ball off. Yep. Hartwell standing in East Lawrence territory around the 45. Good strong kick. He'll feel it on the fly. Come off to his left. Gets a few yards just inside the 40. But that'll be great field position for the Irish. An empty backfield, two men to the right this time. Comes across O'Neill looking to throw, rolls to his right. Now keep it. Take a big hit near the East Lawrence bench. Looked like Bostic was yeah. pretty open there. Yeah. He just never could quite get in position to throw the ball. He'll be taken out for about a one yard loss, it looks like. Second or oh, yeah, safer. Right at the right of the sticks. Let's call it second and ten. Ball on East Lawrence, 38. Safer call to just hang on to that one. Yeah. Hartwell out wide left this time. And off to Hampton on the jet sweep. Nobody out there. Hartwell engaged with the defender. Oh, and Hampton trucked the guy that tried to tackle him. I believe it was Carswell. Big hit there, went right through him. Yeah. There is a flag though, that yeah, one's gonna check come this back. this flag, okay, it's gonna come back. Eli had good blocking there downfield. Yeah, a little too good, I guess. Oh, that, that penalty happened back at the line of scrimmage. Be a hold on Dublin. It's been wide open tonight out there yeah. in the perimeter. Yeah. He'll take the ball all the way back, almost to midfield to the East Lawrence. 48. Call it second and 20 from there. And off the bats up the middle of the field, tremendous blocking, breaks off to his right in a foot race. One man had the angle on him, they'll take him down at about the East Lawrence three. What a yeah. move there yeah. at about the 25. Yeah. Gave him about an extra 20 yards. Yeah. Great run by Bats. That's another Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Bats with a 40, 
six yard run down to East Lawrence, two yard line. The blocking up front's been great tonight. It really has. And out in the perimeter as well. Yep. Melvin sometimes does like to pass the ball right here on the goal line. They'll and off Hampton will go in standing for his third touchdown of the night. Irish go up 27-0. Making a strong case early for that premier heat and air player of the game. Yeah, that's a trifecta for him in the first half. Remind y'all to hang with us right after the game. We'll be down there on the field to present that award. And he made a nice tackle, remember, on that kickoff return. Penn East Lawrence deep. Kick is up and good. So your new score from the Shamrock Bowl with 9.17 to go in the first half. Dublin 28, East Lawrence nothing. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. My name is Jeremy Blackstock. I'm the head of school at Trinity Christian School. For over 50 years, our school has faithfully served the Dublin and Lawrence County community. If you are interested in learning more about Trinity Christian, visit our website or also stop by campus. We'd love to show you around. We'd love for your family to be a part of what we're doing here at Trinity Christian School as we endeavor to teach the truth every day. The Lord has blessed us and we have experienced growth this year in our enrollment, but there are still plenty of spots available in K through 12th grade. So if you're interested in touring the school or interested in learning more about our application process, visit our website, tcsweb.org, or call us here at the school and speak with Dawn Lane, our admissions director. All right, we're back. Connor Daniel to kick off. I believe this is his ninth kick of the first half, Bryson. Didn't he? Was double kicked off to start the yep. game, right? So right. Five kickoffs and four extra points. This ball will come down just outside the 10 yard line. Cars will, oh, took a big hit out at the 25 or thereabouts. Couldn't tell who that was, but somebody made a great stick on him. He probably kicked it 15 times last week. <laughs> yeah. He's been getting his work in this year. Yeah, he has. Which is good, because yeah. Yeah, Dublin's been putting the points on. They put the points on, and of course, kickers get in a rhythm, and the more they kick, better rhythm they get in if they're making them of course and he's been very accurate on his kicks i wonder year. how many that is in a row for him that's definitely a lot up over 20 for sure all right east lawrence with twins right and left this time empty backfield now wide receiver comes across quarterback keeper around the left side he gets a little bit of blocking he'll have about Big 10 hit. yards he took a huge shot at the end of that play and Lost his helmet. Looks like he's down over there too. Or is slow that Mark to get up. Yeah. Harris there on the hit. Harris with a tremendous hit. Head came flying off. Yeah. So Salem Boston. He's their senior quarterback. He took a big shot right there at the end of that play. He paid for the first down he got. Well, actually, give him nine. Call it second and less than a yard. Tylen Sneed comes back in at quarterback now. Right now, honestly, East Lawrence needs to at least gain some first downs just to rest their defense. Their defense got to be worn out right now. Also, of course, they need points to try to get back in this game. Twins right and left. Now the man in motion comes off to his right. Got a flag, I guess, illegal and motion. That will hurt them. That will make it second and a long five. Well, it's, Shoot themselves in the foot. Yeah, right second and going. less than one for the first down. Yeah. Tylen will stay in at quarterback. Call it second and short six. Twins right this time. Hand off, off to his left, no blocking. Great job by the left side of Dublin's defense. Tremendous blocking. He 
Might have gotten a no gain out of it if he was lucky. Swarming defense by the Dublin right there. Actually taking back about a yard is going to be third and set six from the 24. Twins left, one man wide right this time. Got to do a little bit of work yeah. here on third down. Running back offset to his quarterback's left. Looks to his left. Pretty good blocking now. It breaks down and he'll be taken down. A big sack. Gilmore in there. Drew Rozier. Yeah. Believe yeah, get Drew it. Rozier. Great play. Gilmore was there as well. That'll be another three and out for East. Yeah. Started that drive good with an yeah. eight yard gain there. And Zay comes out the game, they take that penalty. KD McCray was in there also. East Lawrence punter standing just outside his own 10 yard line, Hartwell standing at his 44. So Dublin should get good field position again. Now we got a timeout call. We'll take it with them. Be right back. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Visit your local Gravely dealer today. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We're your full line dealer for Gravely Lawnmower sales and service. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson, and we've been baking here at Williamson's Bakery since 1927. In 1965, my grandfather, Merle Williamson, hung our name on this bakery. Ever since then, people have been stopping in for the Williamson's tradition. We invite you to do the same here at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, or catch us on Facebook, or just come get you some. We're back. East Lawrence has got their alignment issue, or whatever it was, straightened out. Back to kick. A little bit of a low snap. Good strong kick. It will hit right at midfield, take an East Lawrence bounce, roll for the kicker down to about the Dublin 42. So a nice kick right there. Even so, Dublin Bryson will have good field position yet again. That's been one of the stories of this game. Dublin's had great field position yeah. all night been the opposite case for East. They haven't yeah. started nearly as well as Dublin has. Yeah, they've had bad field position and they've barely been in Dublin territory at all tonight. Dublin took advantage of that early uh, turnover and have not looked yeah. back. Dublin will send two guys out wide, right? Yeah. Obviously, you got Eli out there and then Cyrus Tobridge. You don't see that very often from Dublin. Not at all. <laughs> Hand off around the right side to Bass. Wind blocking, running in up the open field. Breaks off to his left. And Bass will go in for the Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Bass with a 58 yard run for the Dublin touchdown. East Lawrence kind of had a pinch look there on the line. All the linemen yeah. looking inside. Yeah. Stop that inside run. Dublin took it to the outside and took yeah. it to the house. Plus those two receivers ran the defensive yep. backs off. They ran straight up the field, took them with them. Create room for him once he got around the edge. Quick strike, one play. Yep. A little bit of a bad snap, but the kick is up and good. So your new score was 652 to go in the first half. Dublin 35, East Lawrence nothing.
Quality products and installations since 1985. That's Four Seasons. All right, we're back. Connor Daniel to kick off yet again, and they'll have to ice his leg at halftime. Unusual formation right there on the kickoff for Dublin. He's going to try to pin that ball up against the sideline. East Lawrence, man, good job by him, one of their linemen, actually, to come up and feel that ball and just go down and not risk a fumble. That might be their best starting field position all night. They'll be at their 33. Need to bring them up. Only been on Dublin's side of the field one time. Yeah. Got twins right, one man left this time. Or twins left, one man right, excuse me. One man in the backfield with him. And it, that may have been a busted play. Looked yeah. like he wanted to hand off and nobody was there. Bostic with a nice play to take him down with, a, with about a one yard loss. Yeah, he looked to hand that ball off yeah. and nobody was there and he just had to keep it and get what he could. Call it second and a long 10. Twins left, one man right this time. It's looked like Dublin's known what's coming all night long. Yeah, they're well scouted. He's long as an H back, he's slot agent off to the right with the tight end. Sneed throws it. Open. Oh, he had a man open, yeah. It was Richardson with that route you talked about. Yep. You just mentioned good scouting there. I think I heard earlier this week something like uh, Coach Holmes watches 14 hours film between Saturday and Sunday. So. <laughs> Definitely well scouted. I watch a lot of football, but I don't watch that much yeah. in a month, no. I don't yeah. think. <laughs> That's the second time. Dublin with some personnel out. confusion right here, and they may have to, yeah, time they had to cut the time out. We'll take it with them and be right back okay. from the Shamrock Bowl. Is your HVAC system ready for the new season? Seems early, but fall is in the air. Call Premier Heating and Air for a $69 system checkup to ensure your heater is ready for action. If your system needs service or replacing, Premier will provide you with the best options for your situation. Premier Heating and Air offers several services to ensure your home's comfort. Let one of our technicians come out and clean and seal your air duct system. Add attic insulation, clean your dryer vent, or install one of our indoor air quality products to keep your home pleasant. Call today to experience the premier difference. School's back in and we all know what that means. Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia, but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. With a big third and 10 right here, Dublin had a little bit of personnel issue and had to use the timeout. Falcons desperately need to get this first down and at least pick up a few first downs and rest their defense. Twins left this time, one man right. Quarterback looks to his left under heavy pressure, breaks loose, he'll run it, try to make a man miss, and he'll go out at about the 45. Good job by Damari Foster, I believe it was, to not let him make a move on him and go upfield for the first down. Shifty, yeah. real shifty. Although he same. might still have it. Let's check the it's spot close. here. Yeah. I like think he does, yeah. A good play by Foster, but he still gets it. Ball will be it. They're just touching their 43, so he got it just barely. That's big for them to keep the clock moving and keep their deep, get their defense a chance to rest a little bit. And off, oh, keeper, nice job by Sneed. Nice job on the keeper, good ball fake. Good tough run right up the gut. And he'll get about 10, so he might have another first down. East Lawrence looks like trying to go tempo right here. Actually, yeah, the ball will be at the 48 yard line, second and about a yard for East Lawrence. 
Twins left. Oh, again, he got lost back there. Nobody like a, to hand the ball to. Looked like another busted yeah. play. Like got maybe to, a half yard. Let's call it third and a short yard for them right here. Looked like he wanted to hand out when the Cowboys yeah. need. And Nobody didn't take at it. home. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Give him a couple of feet on that. They'll be third and a short yard. Twins left this time. And oh, oh, he's just nailed behind the lines. That Foster, I believe. Yeah, tremendous job. Yeah, he'll lose about five yards nearly right there. Amari Foster was just all but took the handoff right there. So East Lawrence will have to kick again. They do get one first down, use a little bit of clock. But that's Bryson, they got to be disappointed. They didn't at least get that second first down. Yeah. And, you know, obviously they need points as well, down 35 nothing. But if nothing else, they need to grind out some first downs, rest their defense, and keep that doubling offense off the field. Kicker stands at his 33. Good snap. Good strong kick. Fielded by Hartwell. Fair catch at his 23 or thereabouts. Only positive is they get the ball coming out of half. Yeah. Dublin's had their way tonight. Dublin with 347 to go in the first half. Well, only one timeout to work with. They have had to use a couple of timeouts with personnel issues. But the way their offense is going, they may not need a timeout. Again, that twins right, this time twins left look. Jet sweep to the Hampton. Nice cut right there to get across the 40. He'll have a first down. No, that's uh, that's not Hampton. That's O'Neill, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's right. That's uh, Malachi. I think it was. He gets about 17 yards on that carry. First down and 10 for Dublin. Dublin's got about three and a half minutes to work. Of course, they ain't needed that much time wow. so far. Inside head off to Bostic, stacked up nicely by one of their linebackers. He got a couple of yards, looked like he had room to run. Like we said earlier, yeah. you're really gonna have to bring it to him if you wanna get him down, and they yeah, did I believe there. that was Logan Clements. One of their linebackers, there, yep. yeah. Stacks him up at the 48 yard line. It'll be, let's call it second and eight from there. Out down to 2.45 to go in the half. Coming around the left side, oh, that's uh, Malachi, Malachi O'Neill. He's gonna go in standing with a 57 yard run for the Dublin touchdown. That's your Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. O'Neill for the long touchdown for Dublin. Irish have break it, broken the 40 point mark in the first half. Second week in a row, they've got over 40 in the first half. Good snap, the kick is up. Off to the left, and, but it's still good, just barely good. So with two and a half minutes left in the first half, your score Dublin 42, East Lawrence nothing. We have natural gas all over town. Get yourself a natural gas tank that's water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. That's a luxury. 
We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, City of Dublin Natural Gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah! Finish the drill with natural gas. Call your gas guys at 478-277-5048. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Uh, happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. All right, boys, if you want to go to college, you have to clear out another one of these. What if we told you there was a better way to save for your kids' college than pickle jars? Morris Bank's Savings Builder account and Moolah makes saving for your kids' college easier than ever. All you have to do is connect the account to your debit card, where it automatically rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar, depositing that spare change into a Moolah account, where it will grow into a nice little nest egg for whatever your kids have their sights set on. Back, Dublin to kick off yet again. Kick off off this right. Carswell takes it. No, that's uh, that's Richardson. Richardson there. takes it. It is 10 up across the 20, near the 25. A host of hours in on the tackle. East comes out 221 to work. They need something if they want to yeah. be remotely possible for them to come back there in the second uh, half. That's going to be asking an awful lot, but yeah, they need to, you know, just at least get something positive going in the yep. locker room. They having personnel issues. Zay Boston still hasn't returned to the game since taking that big hit earlier. Yeah. Hope he's Trips right. left this time. Broken wing look, handoff off to his left. Nothing doing, Bostic with another great play on defense for Dublin. Xavier Bostic with the stop. Man, Bostic yeah, keeps getting yeah. more impressive. Yeah, he really does. Coach Holmes will be happy to have him back next year. Yeah. East Lawrence probably going to have to try it in the air. That run game not doing much for them tonight. They'll keep it on yeah, the ground. Yeah, hand off. Good job by the running back. Keep his feet moving, get out across the 25. But there's really nothing there. Yeah, but Zier Johnson and a couple of other Dublin defenders were stacked, clogging up that hole. He did a good job just to get what he could out of it. No forward for maybe two, yard and a half there maybe. Yeah. Handoff through his legs and he had to just he jump on, on it. it. Good job to get on it. Ball Dublin. back all the way inside East Lawrence 15 yard line. And Dublin took a timeout. Dublin out. took their last timeout to try to uh, make a punt Dublin. here. Or they will make a punt. Yep. So we'll take a quick break with them and be right back. How to outsmart the outdoors. Think fast. That needs work. That needs trimming. That needs cleanup. But all that work takes a lot of tools. Lucky for you, that tool, that tool, that one, they're all the same tool. That's smart. Super smart. That's the Echo Pro Attachment Series. Gas-powered. Battery-powered. 16 attachments for hedging, edging, trimming, tilling, cutting, blowing, paddling. 
Yeah, that too. It's outdoor grade, professional grade, commercial grade, which is great for making your yard look like it belongs in a commercial. Echo, power on and on. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We're your full line sales and service dealer for Echo and Shindawa handheld products. All right, we're back. East Lawrence to kick off the Dublin to start the third quarter. The Irish lead 49 nothing. Dribble kick along the ground, picked up by. Uh, that's number one for Dublin. Nice return across the 30. So, Cornelius Rozier. Cornelius Rozier. Dublin still got their starters in. Most of them. Yeah, they have. I think I see a couple of number two guys, at yeah. least, in the offensive line. I don't think we saw Cornelius in that yeah. first half at all, or too much at least. Bostic's still back there. I don't think Nasir's in there, or is that him right there on the right side? Zante Walker's in, I believe, backfield. Oh, that's Bats, I'm sorry. Yep. Hand off to the right, runs through Broke a tackle. tackle. Nice run, got a first down out around the 45 yard line. Good, well, tough run by Bats. Yeah, that clock never stopped running after the uh, kickoff, so it looks like we will have a, um, yeah, running, a running clock, clock which is expected when the score high it is. East Lawrence has got a man down at the 45, so we will take a break with them to check on him and be right back. Hi, I'm Tom Dominey. Here at Dublin Wynn Nelson, we pride ourselves on providing the industry's highest quality products at the most competitive pricing. We are a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry, and we can answer your questions and help you get the parts and equipment you need. From Owen to Renai, we carry the plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products you need from the brands you trust. We also carry a great lineup of Milwaukee tools. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. If you have a question, or if you're looking for a hard-to-find part, give us a call. Our experts are ready to help. Order online, give us a call, or come by at 507 Airport Road in Dublin. We're committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. All right, we're back. East Lawrence able to get their injured player off the field. Irish first and 10 from their 45. O'Neill rolls to his left looking to throw. Nice catch by Hartwell in East Lawrence territory somewhere around their 43-yard line. That's an Irish first down. They've thrown the ball a little more than they normally do. Already four passes here to a little bit more than two quarters of play. Sometimes I get a good feeling. Yeah. Motion, and off go up the middle. He's got room to work. It'll be a foot race to the end zone. And he'll get there. Another touchdown for the Irish. That's Damari Foster. I think that's his first tonight. I believe that might be his second. That's okay. a 43 yard run by Foster for the touchdown. You're uh, Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. The Irish break the 50 point mark. Or he caught, and he caught the touchdown at the end of the half. Wasn't that him that made that I catch? I think that, yep, that yeah. was right. It is his second touchdown. Nick of the catch there. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of strong candidates for player of the game for Dublin. For sure. Daniel's kick is up and good. 
So your new score the kick is good. with 947 to go in the There's third quarter, four, Dublin 56, four, East Lawrence nothing. The heat is on at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, and you'll find a great deal on a new set of wheels from SUVs, trucks, cars, you name it, Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales has it. So come on in today and see TJ, Trey, Alan, Britt, or any of the friendly sales staff at Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales, where good deals and good people meet. Log on to DublinAutoSalesGA.com for more information, or just come see us at 606 East Jackson in Dublin. Wayne Kemp's Dublin Auto Sales. The heat is on, and it's time to get a great deal. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. All right, we're back, Daniel, to kick off for Dublin. The Irish now lead 56 nothing with 9.47 to go in the third quarter. Good, strong kick comes down just inside the 10-yard line. Richardson will take that one yeah. at seven. Nice return just across the 25. Good tackle there by Johan Woodard. First time we've called his name tonight. See Nazir Johnson, Damari Foster, Gilmore, a lot of Dublin's first unit will come out for this first drive of this third quarter, but you imagine they'll have a lot of substitutions the rest of the way, really. East Lawrence with twins right. Inside handoff, nothing doing. Nazir Johnson there gets maybe two yards. Nazir Johnson. We saw uh, Zay Boston being assisted to the sideline yeah. there at halftime, so we probably won't see him yeah. again in the Hopefully second half. Hopefully he'll be okay. Twins right this time. Quarterback back to throw, looking a little. Throws it out to his wide receiver, makes a nice cut, and then the big hit by Cam Hampton. Cam Hampton. He gained about, he only gained a couple yards, I think, on that. Yeah, nice well, he got about there. five, yeah. Big hit by Hampton. Brings up third. End of that play. without his pads over there. You see him walking. Uh, yeah, that's, that, a, yeah, that like that's a big him. blow to them. Yeah. I didn't even realize he had went down. That yeah. may have been who that was there at the end. Oh, he Lost drops the ball. the ball. It's loose back there. It looks like Dublin will jump on it. He just lost, fumbled that ball. It was a mad scramble for it. It shot out back toward the 20. Picked up by Chapman, I believe. The play yeah, right. recovered by number 21, Brandon Chapman. First down. Yeah. Double will start another drive yeah. with incredible field position. Yeah. The, it's been the story tonight. At East Lawrence 20-yard line. See a lot of second unit guys in there. In the offensive line. Malachi still out there leading the troops. Yep. Seen a lot of action from Bennett Lake and um, Jordan Tobridge in there, I believe, in a running back position. O'Neill wide open, touchdown, easy catch. Cornelius Rozier. Yeah, that's your Dublin Piggly Wiggly instant replay. Malachi O'Neill to Tobridge for the touchdown from 20 yards out. The hours now break the 60-point mark. This 
this offense has been explosive. 62 in about two and a half quarters. That's impressive. Kick is up and good. So with 638 to go in the third quarter, your new score, Dublin 63, East Lawrence nothing. We'll be right back. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. All right, Daniel, the kickoff, high kick off to the right, taking it about the 15, comes off to his right with a decent return across the 25, that was, I believe that was uh, one of their wide receivers on the return, number 11. That Richardson? Yeah, that was Richardson there on the... Turn. Let me see this. Yeah, that's rich. All right, these lines now with twins left. Now they got a man in motion, or well, they had a personnel issue, and I believe they'll call a timeout. I guess to, yeah, it's time out East Lawrence. We'll take it with them and be right back. Hey, my name's Chandler Gerard. And I'm Kyle Gerard with A-Plus Flooring and Construction. And here at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, we support our community. We'd like to wish all our area teams, Dublin, East Lawrence, West Lawrence, Trinity, a great football season. So come see us at A-Plus Flooring and Construction, 371 Georgia Highway 338 in Dublin, or give us a call, 478-676-2662. Have a great season. Hello, this is Andy Cullins at Cullen Supply. You can mow with an attitude. It's our legacy, the driving force behind the ever more. It's a promise to every bad boy mower owner, and we offer powerful mowing performance across our entire mower lineup. And we do it all for mowing pros and demanding homeowners just like you. It takes brains and brawn to build a mower as regularly simple to operate and easy to maintain and provide the best value as a bad boy mower. Overbuilt and over horsepowered since the very beginning, our mowers represent the best in delivering classic American muscle. We continue to improve the process of building and innovating our mowers so that every single one is delivered to you ready to mow with an attitude. Visit us at Cullen Supply and Engine Service at 910 East Jackson Street in Dublin or 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville. East Lawrence with twins right, one man left. Inside handoff, nothing doing, big stick. A Gilmore right there. Gilmore, Gilmore on the stop. Nothing doing in the run game all night. The yeah, pass they, game either. Yeah, they've struggled big time, yeah. especially with the run game. Subs here doing just, just as good a job getting through that line of scrimmage. All right, second and 10. Looks to his right, nice throw. Nice pass. Cars will. And he's back in the he's game. He's back in the game, yeah. Um, That's their first. First down, conference. Spark there for in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, quite a while. Nice pass over the middle. Good play design. Had a guy going that left way, kind of. Actually, so we were talking there. about the score of Bleckley and Swainsboro. According to 13's scoreboard, it was 14 nothing. Swainsboro at the half. Thought I'd heard 14 to seven. Most of the 
about second and seven now to go. Run that ball for about three yards up that left side. And then 357 to go in the third quarter. The Irish with two quick touchdowns in this second half to build a lead to 63-0. Sneed pulls the ball down, got a lot of running room, angles off to his left, inside the 30, down somewhere near the 27. He'll have a first down. Nice run by Sneed right there. Is that the first time this game they've gotten? Back-to-back yeah, -back first yeah, downs? Back -back first it may downs. be, honestly, it may be. Good job by Snead to kind of sense that pressure, step up, and then he found some open area in which to run. That Swainsboro Bleckley game, uh, you said 14 0 at half. It's now tied at 14 okay. in the third quarter. Oh, Snead going to be thrown well for a big loss. Goes off to his left. Now he'll run out of bounds. Loss of about four. Dublin's pass rush was all over him as he tried to roll his right and throw the ball. Nothing doing. He'll lose about five. Let's call it second and 15 from the there from Dublin's 33-yard line. Just looking to get a little bit of momentum moving in the next week at this point. Yeah. Snead throws it in the head. Number 11, that's uh, Car Rich no, uh, Rich Richardson Rich on a post route. But he, he throws a nice ball, but right there he's just off the mark. It'll be third and 14 for East Lawrence. Now down to 2.01 to go in the Third quarter and the clock running despite the uh, incomplete pass. So, under two minutes now to go in the third quarter. That one has things well in hand. Snead back to throw, rolls off, off to his right. Throws on the run. He had a man down there and he fell down. Probably would have had a touchdown on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I believe that's number one. That's Pascal Sneed. I figure they'll go for this. Yeah. Absolutely nothing to lose, yeah. just to be perfectly honest about it. It's an unfortunate break there, slipping right there. What yeah. Touchdown. Nice throw. It looked like he had Dank open over the middle yeah. as well, number 11. Uh, they got trips right this time. I think Dublin may call a timeout. They didn't like the alignment. We'll take it with them and be right back. Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed demand equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and air conditioning unit. Allen services all brands. And with the purchase of a new unit, Amana offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff can help you today at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a Mano dealer. A Mano, last and last and last. Progressive Rural Telephone Co-op offers a full range of communication products and services to its members in Lawrence County and surrounding areas. We take pride in being your total communications provider, and we work hard to provide quality services at the best prices. In addition to offering phone service, we provide high-speed internet and digital high-def TV. And we always strive to put our members first. Progressive Rule, your total communications company. Small enough to know you, large enough to serve you. ProgressiveTel.com. Call 478-984-4201 or stop by 890 Simpson Avenue in Rents. Progressive Rule Telephone Co-op. Back on fourth and 14, trips right, running from Dublin's 33 yard line. Big pressure with the blitz. 
Sneed rolls to his right under heavy pressure, just had to unload the ball. Tremendous pressure by Dublin's defense right there. Bostic was on him, Gilmore was back there, and several of their friends as well. So, Steve, you might as well just throw that one up to somebody yeah, rather than he, put it out and, of bounds on fourth down. Yeah, in fairness to Sneed, honestly, he just didn't have much of a chance at all to unload that ball toward an eligible receiver, quite frankly. It, Dublin will take over. They got the backup quarterbacks yep. coming in now. Uh, yeah. Jeff Davis and Bennett okay. Lake. Yeah, I see. Uh, we've seen them rotate play by play. Yeah, it looks like Hartwell and Nazir Johnson are in, and maybe everybody else is a backup. Jeff Davis will start this one. Yeah. That's the end of the third quarter with your score from the Shamrock Bowl. Dublin 63. East Lawrence nothing. You want to know why we ride? Maybe it's because everything looks better with a fresh coat. It's putting on your Sunday best and catching up with old friends. And who doesn't love going into the office? We ride because out here, we can be our true selves. Dirt and all. Maybe that's why. Hey, I'm TJ with Dublin Outdoors and Power Sports, formerly known as Myers Equipment Supply. We are a full line sales and service dealer for Can Am Off Road. Back for the start of the fourth quarter. Nice ceremony there at the end of the third quarter, honoring Michael Hall, one of the members of the 2006 Dublin State Championship team. Inside handoff right there to um, Tobridge. Gets a decent gain of about five yards. I'd say a successful senior night for the Irish. Very. They will rotate their quarterbacks like I mentioned a while ago. Bennett Lake now down there. You guys will be fighting for the starting job next year. And off, off to the right, Flag Foster, I believe, yeah, he gains a short gainer. However, he got a holding call on Dublin, that'll bring it back. You'll see another player for East Lawrence out with the injury, over there limping toward their locker room. It's been a rough night for him, not just on the scoreboard, but physically as well. So they've been beat up all year by injuries. Yeah. A couple guys already out for the year. Can't catch a break. Right, Davis, double handoff. Cam Hampton winds up with it. Good tough run. Oh, he took a big stick as he crossed the 30. Going down in there yeah, with a big one, hit. Yeah, one of their a little bit of frustration out. Linebackers, yeah, playing hard, give them credit despite the scoreboard. Hampton does get it to the 31. Eli's come out of the game now. Rolling to his right, throwing, threw the ball up for grabs. Fortunate that one of the defenders fell down. That's uh Brings up fourth down for the Irish. Wobbly throw there. Yeah. Richardson was in position to maybe make a play on that ball. I believe that was Bennett Lake in at quarterback for yeah. Dublin. He was under a lot of heat and just couldn't get much on that throw. Is this the first punt of the night for Dublin? I believe it I think is. it is, yep. Yeah. O'Neill back to kick. Probably most times consider it a good night if you don't have your first punt until the fourth quarter. Yeah. Good snap off to his right. O'Neill, good strong kick over the head of the up man. Ball but goes skidding down inside the 20, down in just inside the 15. Tremendous job by O'Neill on the punt. <laughs> so Ace Lawrence will take it. 
take over backed up in their own end now with 8.59 to go in the ball game and the clock running. East Lawrence now with twins right, one man left. Sneed brings them up. And East Lawrence didn't like their personnel alignment and take, calls a timeout. We'll take it with them and be right back. School's back in and we all know what that means. Whether it's football or softball or any other fall sport, Dublin Chevy GMC is here for you. Fall is in the air here in middle Georgia but the deals are still smoking hot at Dublin Chevy GMC. Train for a new career or go further in a field you love with education and skills training from Oconee Fall Line Technical College. OFTC offers 130 plus programs in high demand fields that will prepare you for the workforce fast. That's two years or less. Classes are hands-on, giving students practical experience to be successful on the job. With affordable tuition and flexible classes, you can fit college into your lifestyle. Isn't it time you loved your career? Get started with OFTC today. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Careers begin here. All right, we're back. East Lawrence first and 10 from their own 15 yard line. Hoping at this point just to get something on the board and try to close this game out on a high note. Hand off, good tough run. But not much there to get maybe a yard. Tackle for the Irish. <clears throat> See a lot of unfamiliar number, jersey numbers out there. So you know we got a lot of Second unit guys in there, although Bats is in the Dublin secondary. Obviously, East Lawrence still got the first team yeah. out there. Don't forget, right after the game ends, we'll have a player of the game right down yeah. there on the field, brought to you by Premier Heating and Air. Twins right and left. Big rush by Nazir Johnson, misses him. Sneed running, oh, bounces off a couple of tackles up across the 30 to the 34. That was a great run by Sneed that He's time. He's looking good on his feet tonight. Yeah. Nazir Johnson flushed him and then I think a couple of guys got a big hit on him out about the 25. He ran right through it. Dublin does have a man down. So we'll take a quick break on the injury timeout. I believe that's Chapman. We'll be right back. Imagine a life-changing injury. Imagine the fear and unknown. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team, the only physicians in the area with advanced certification in orthopedic sports medicine, treat sports injuries with innovative techniques. The Houston Clinic has helped nearly a million athletes live without pain. Imagine getting back in the game. Imagine the best game of your life. The Houston Clinic Sports Medicine Team. I'm Brian Baysmore, President and CEO of Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County. We would like to invite you to come by and experience a welcoming banking environment. Come by today and have a cup of coffee and let us talk with you about our many products, savings accounts, checking accounts, CDs, and our many loans. You're more than just a number to us, you're family. Come by today, Community Bank of Dublin Lawrence County, member FDIC and equal housing lender. Get yourself a natural gas tank with water heater and save space. And have endless hot water. Natural gas is more efficient than electricity. And it's lighter than air. When you install natural gas appliances, you can get rebates up to $1,500. The city of Dublin will finance you up to $7,500. For 60 months at 0% interest. Use natural gas for all your outdoor cooking. It's a luxury. We're on call 24-7. You'll call us and we'll be there. Whether you're building a home or starting a business, City of Dublin Natural Gas has you covered. We serve commercial and residential gas all across town. Yeah! 
Call your gas guy. At 478-277-5048. We'll be right back. Injury. He comes. came off under his own power, though, looking a little ginger. Or gingerly, he came off, I guess you'd say. Sneed up. Twins right and left. Looks to throw it. Overthrew his man. He had a man on a slant route. Overthrown a yeah. couple guys tonight. Yeah, it was Camario Mitchell, I believe, on the slant route. A junior wide receiver for them. Bryce, you look at this East Lawrence team, a lot of underclassmen, although a lot of their skill position players are seniors, so they're going to have to have some guys step up next year, but they've got a lot of good young players, it looks like to me. Right, future for the yeah. Falcons for sure. Handoff, oh, well played by that Michael there. Michael O'Neill. Malachi, oh, Malachi, rather. sorry, Malachi O'Neill. Great play by him, throws him for about a five yard loss. Ball carrier. Right at about six minutes in play. Left here in the fourth quarter. A third and 15 for East Lawrence. They've got to, got to get all the way out to the 44 yard line for a first down. Twins right, one man le wide left. Probably two down territory. Yeah. Snead so looks to his right, looking to throw. Throws, oh, great break on the ball. Yeah, by the defensive back for Dublin. That's, uh, Cyrus Tobridge there. Tobridge, nice play. Jump ball, yeah. both of them had a shot at it. Yeah. They will punt the ball. Yeah, I guess these lines will territory. punt, yeah. Hart will back deep around his 45-yard line or so. We'll be down under five minutes by the time this ball is punted. Bryson Dublin looks ahead to next week at Swainsboro. And they got to pull for Swainsboro to win. They're playing Blackley tonight in a huge game. Last we heard, that game was tied. If Swainsboro wins and Dublin's able to get down there and win next week, you'd have a three-way tie for the first place in the region, and as I understand it, come down to a point differential right. if that, that happens. That's probably in Dublin's favor, man. Last couple of weeks, the way they put points on the board. Yeah. Now, if uh, Blackley wins, they will claim the region championship, and the game next week will be a fight for the number two seed and at least one home playoff game. So, huge Either way, it'll be huge next week for Dublin at Swainsboro. Now, I think East Lawrence will have to win next week for a spot in the playoffs. Hand off to Hampton around his left side. Not much doing there. He'll get no gain out of it. Well played by number 17, Logan Clements, a linebacker for East Lawrence. We've got a tough choice for player of the game. So many guys have stood out tonight on the offensive side of the ball for Dublin. We talked about last time maybe giving it to the offensive line. They make another case for it. Cam well, Hampton. Yeah. Yeah, Hampton had the trifecta for on touchdown runs. He also made a nice tackle on special teams deep in De East Lawrence's own end and at least one big hit on defense. They don't call a personal foul on that tackle. Mark it off down to the 41 of East Lawrence. Now with 3.48 to go in the ball game. Eli back on the field. Inside handoff, not much blocking there. Maybe a half yard. I couldn't tell who the ball carrier was. Eli does a Is great that, job yeah. selling the pass. He always. I believe that's Walker. Notice yeah. he always gets his guy real far down the field, out of the play. Yeah. 
give him a one yard, and it'll be second and nine. Now down to three minutes, 14 seconds to go. Dublin about to pitch a shutout, it looks like, up 63 to nothing. And off to Hampton, sweeps around the left side with some blocking. Run out of bounds, now down near the 35. One more would not secure that, that award for him. Yeah. Dublin with a lot of number two and three guys in there right now. Eli comes off the field, that's probably the last we'll see of him tonight. Yeah. Now under three minutes at about 2.35 to go. Third and five, hand off to uh, Barry Foster. That's Good right. tough run, he ran Good through a tackle run. to get down inside the 30 for the first down. Good run by Foster there. Now we'll be down under two minutes when this next play is run. Well, we're keeping their foot on the pedal here. Probably could just run this clock out with these yeah. three downs, four downs. Hampton and Foster come out probably for the last time in the game. Good tough run right there by... Uh, that point differential rule we were talking about just a while ago is exactly why Coach Tobridge, yeah, keeps his foot on the gas. That's true. Tobridge takes it down to the East Lawrence 17. Double and second, about one from there. Oh, fumble. I think he fell back on, on it. it. Yeah, fell back Been on it. Late there. Yeah, but about a yard behind the line, so it'll be third and about three. Yeah, that'll bring us for the next ball snap. will be under a yeah. minute to play. Jeff Davis back in at quarterback. Look in a hurry down there. They want to get one more. They're now down inside 55 seconds. Davis handoff to number 20. And that's an Irish first. Travion Boston. So talking to the coaches at halftime about him, of course, his brother's a star for Dublin. But they say this kid, who's a freshman, has blinding speed and he may be really good in a couple of years. Keep, keep that name in mind in the future. Ball will be at Martin to the 11, first down and 10 from there with now with 17 seconds. So this will probably be the last play of the ball game. Oh, fumbled, picked up, he has this fall on it. That will be your final play as the clock ticks off. Your score tonight from the Shamrock Bowl, Dublin 63, East Lawrence nothing. Is your HVAC system ready for the new season? Seems early, but fall is in the air. Call Premier Heating and Air for a $69 system checkup to ensure your heater is ready for action. If your system needs service or replacing, Premier will provide you with the best options for your situation. Premier Heating and Air offers several services to ensure your home's comfort. Let one of our technicians come out and clean and seal your air duct system. Add attic insulation, clean your dryer vent, or install one of our indoor air quality products to keep your home pleasant. Call today to experience the premier difference. All right, we're here from the Shamrock Bowl after Dublin 63-0 win over East Lawrence for our premier heating and air play of the game, Cam Hampton for Dublin. Three rushing touchdowns, a big hit on a kickoff return, taking their return man down inside their 15. At least one big hit on defense. Congratulations on a tremendous game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I present you with the trophy for the premier heating and air player of the game. Thank you, thank you. Your offensive line obviously played very well tonight. A lot of guys gained a lot of yardage. Talk a little bit about the way they played tonight. We came out here, came out here and had fun. Knew what we had to do. Out the gate, we had to come out hot. Had to. Big game next week. Looking forward to Swain. Are you ready for that game? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the premier heat and air player of the game, Mr. Cam Hampton.